Hi, hello, I'm here with Kuti Tuti. Hi, hello, I'm here with North Flow. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to be drawing skugs and other rain world things as humans. For reals this time. We're doing three each, two skugs and one creature, and instead of picking them ourselves, we're going to be assigning the characters for the other person drawing. And we have prepared our lists, I hope. In case we have like the same ones, we will fight to the death. Yeah! So we're starting with the skugs, I think. Yeah, so for your first skug, I'm going to give you a rivulet. The lovely design in the April Fool's video. And I oh hope my to, god. Hope to see how you improve <laughs> upon that. Okay, uh, I did draw, I did draw yes. this earlier. Oh god! <laughs> no! <laughs> I think you're killing it your was... microphone. <laughs> There's also this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think I'll need to do it for reals this time. For your first skug, I'm giving you the the artificer. Yes! I, I don't have a yes. reasoning, except that I think it would be fun. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with this. I, I have so many directions that I could go with this. The other skug that I'm giving oh. you is going to be Hunter. Hunter? Hunter. All right. Okay. Oh God. You gave me all the, like the athletic skunks. Oh goodness. Yeah, <laughs> what am I going yeah. to do? <laughs> the hunter. Yeah, I'm some muscle. I mean, as you can see, you from the drawing I sent, I already know how to draw muscle. So. Okay. As for your other skunk, you're gonna be drawing monk. Ah, oh, oh, little piss boy. Little no. They're not the piss boy. Have fun with the with the piss boy, I suppose. No, no, no. They're my baby. I love them. For you, I'm gonna give you the blue fast skinny lizard that glow like a cyan lizard. <laughs> so one of my ideas was that I could have given you a lizard, but now I feel like I'm probably not because I'm doing a lizard. So I need to give you something else. I did prepare for this. It's just that I'm now indecisive. Yeah, no worries. Okay, fuck it. You're gonna be drawing the daddy long legs. <laughs> you know, we need a little chaos in here, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna be drawing the daddy. Stop! Long legs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my other choice for you, if I didn't go for the cyan lizard, it would have been five pebbles in the cat costume. <laughs> oh so, like, Come on, I could have used that to clickbait. All right, well. <laughs> I don't know if I will be having fun, but I will be having a time. <laughs> yeah, same here. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I guess we're starting with Hunter then. Um Yay! So I ended up doing kind of like a weird pose for this one because I don't like to just have them like looking at the camera like they're modeling for a picture or something. Uh, so yeah. I had Hunter like kind of running away from possibly the cyan Ooh. lizard that comes later on because I feel like Hunter's life is kind of really stressful. Uh, in hindsight, the anatomy maybe got a bit messed up because like I couldn't take a reference of myself as I would usually do because the pose was so strange. <laughs> I ended up like posing a 3D model instead, but the thing with 3D models is that you can very easily snap their necks and they won't tell you. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. you just notice later on, oh, that was kind of weird. Um, Anyways, yeah, I, I kind of ended up using a lot of my personal hunter head cannons. I have some head cannons that I either use or don't, depending on the situation. But for hunter, and this is especially because of some of the um, some of the broadcasts in Downpour. I have this head cannon that, when no significant harassment, is saying that he could work on another purposed organism to help Moon, yeah. but he doesn't think that it'll get there like soon enough to help her. My head cannon is that he made Hunter grow faster, and that's why Hunter has cancer. <laughs> that's like my that's my oh. that's my game theory. So I tried oh. um, I tried kind of giving Hunter these really messed up teeth. What do you call them? The milk teeth and then the adult teeth are like there kind of simultaneously. Yeah, yeah. And they're kind of fucked up. I, I, no, it, it's not iron teeth in English. Iron teeth? <laughs> yeah. Iron teeth? <laughs> yeah, they, we, we call them iron teeth in Finnish. I don't know why. I gave them like lots of teeth in their mouth. I wanted to make them ginger because they're red. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that also gave me uh, the opportunity to give them kind of a lot of freckles, which is 
as far as I know, it's like more common in ginger people than other people. I'm like trying to, again, allude to the fact that maybe like some abnormal growth is going on in here because that's yeah. what freckles are. They're like abnormal little growths on the skin. Oh, I didn't know that, but I want to see the fucked up teeth. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you soon enough. I'll show you soon enough. So for the outfit, well, I reference a lot of the costume design from Ronia, the robber's daughter. You might be familiar with her. Yeah. I am very I, familiar. <laughs> you are very familiar. As Hunter, you would like normally swallow the pearl. I, I thought it would be maybe a little weird for Hunter to be able to swallow the pearl, so I gave them like a little baggie instead to keep the pearl in. <laughs> but I'm just gonna send it in now. I have been talking for a while. I love the fucked up teeth. I love the big eyes. Oh my god, I love them. Yeah, I also uh, like the knee is kind of ripped because I thought, you know, it's a lot of struggle going on here with Hunter. That's so cool! And I love the skirt and the pants and- Oh no, her toes! Yeah. Their toes are out! Yep, that's gonna be a problem, potentially. <laughs> They're gonna step on the centipede or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. This is not optimal gameplay because actually it's better to swallow the neuron and keep the pearl out because it keeps the scavengers at bay and also the fucking monster kelp might eat the neuron. I have found this out the hard way. Huh? Yeah. Huh? I drop my neuron. I'm like, oh, it's fine. It's just over there. And then a monster kelp swoops in and eats the neuron to just takes it away right in front of my eyes. Hello? Fucking hell. <laughs> What is, what is the monster kelp gonna do with the neuron? It doesn't Eat have it. brain! It's food! <laughs> I, I love them. I love them so much. Yeah, thank you. Also, I love the shirt slash cape slash the thing that reminds me of uh, Hollow Knight. <laughs> of of Hornet Hollow Knight. <laughs> I, I love that. The movement is so cool. I'm happy that you think it's cool. I think it's called a shawl, actually. That. Oh, yes, this is. Yeah. But no, I, I, I want to see your artificer though. Okay, so uh, for Artie, uh, I, I just kept thinking that uh, <laughs> uh, mi Milf, <laughs> but like, <laughs> but like, very strong. I want that her to look strong, but also kind of soft. For some reason, I have like a very strong opinion in my head about their jawline. Uh -huh. And that was something that I really wanted to keep in mind while drawing them. You will see soon, but I kind of did a funny thing with the scar and their hair. Okay. Because uh, <laughs> it is kind of like a built-in bus cut, if you want to think about it that way. But I'm going to talk more after I've shown this to you. There they are! <laughs> Fucking tits out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Hold on. I mean, I, I, I have to, I have to. I'm sorry, but oh my god, the <laughs> scar, the scar is lovely. That's a, that's a delicious scar right there. Thank you. I, I kept going with my head cannon that it's an explosion scar. Okay. So I wanted to be kind of like scattered around her face, not just in one place. Some scarring on the head, so uh, <laughs> their hair does not like it. it. It grows on these little patches that I think are very cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm restraining myself a little bit for the video right now. Um, yep. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love, I love, uh, are they, are they, uh, the, are the clothes like, are they kind of like, they have also like, uh, kind of charred or are they, um, oh, yeah. are they bloody? What's going on here? The pants are bloody. Okay. Uh, that is just uh, so many scavengers to kill, not enough time to clean up. But I think the weird jacket without any sleeves thingy, I think that's just burned man oh my god holy shit oh, wow. also yeah <laughs> keep talking i at some point did think of attaching some bombs to her belt or mm -hmm. something like that in the end i did not go with that i i don't know if they can still like eat rock <laughs> turn bomb yeah, i i just think it's funny to think that they would like eat rocks for breakfast <laughs> to like a fucking to intimidate just chew on a fucking rock like it's a yes. apple, oh my god. <laughs> they, they would also have such fucked up teeth after that. It was very important to me that Artificer has chest hair. Chest yeah, hair. I, I agree with you on that. That's that's a good idea. Thank I you. think that's a good design idea. Oh, this this looks very Artificer to me at least. Hell yeah. I, I'm glad I did your fave justice. I was kind of afraid <laughs> because I know you <laughs> like Artificer. The scar. I like the scar a lot. I said this before, Thank but I think you. it's really cool. I, I also, I'm very happy with how it turned out. This is very cool. Anyway, I, I'm very happy with how Artie turned out. Even though it took me like two months 
to draw them. <laughs> can, I, can I see Rivulet? Yeah, okay. So, uh, as for Rivulet, uh, Rivulet was maybe the hardest one for me, uh, and I feel like probably the weakest one out of my designs. When I'm planning the outfits and such, I want to think of like, okay, what would this person's occupation be? What are, what are, what are their hobbies? And uh, for Rivulet, swimmer and athlete, they felt like kind of too obvious. And that's kind of what yeah. I did with the fake Rivulet design earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up making them a marine biologist. Oh! Because I thought, you know, like they're technically they're a doctor, they're like a heart doctor. So I thought, like, sciencey yeah. side added to the more athletic thing. I don't actually know if marine biologists do, like, both lab work and field work, or if it's like they have specific people doing one and specific people doing the other. <laughs> but I just went with, okay, reveal it. Reveal it is gonna go swimming, and then reveal it is gonna bring some creature out the water and look at it in a lab. So I, I, uh, yeah. I gave them a lab coat. They have the swimming appropriate wear, and then they're changing kind of into their lab coat currently in the in the drawing. But I also thought that reveal it kind of gives me the vibes of someone who would like anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I tried to also like get that into the design somehow, so I gave them pink hair. <laughs> I love that! I love that so much, you have no idea! I feel like in hindsight, I might have stuck a bit too close to the idea of like having them in this kind of workwear, because the very practical clothes were more difficult to design around the character, and then I'd had less room to work with it. I, I also gave them big glasses for the eyes, but I'm just gonna send them in now. Oh my god! I love them! They look like they would love Homestuck. I love them for them. <laughs> I love them for them! Yeah, I think they would. I think they would. I, I wanted to have the lab coat on the shoulder kind of to like suggest the tail as well. Yeah. That was also a part of my thought process. And the pink hair is meant to suggest the frills. Yeah, and I just noticed also the frill markings on the boots. I added those, those like cute. last minute. Literally last minute, I added them just now. They're super cute. And oh my god, the gloves. How are you so good at drawing gloves? Holy um, freak. Well, you see, um... Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I love Rivulet. They are human, they look very human, but also they look like a human that is a creature. <laughs> they look like a creature human Yeah, to I me. feel like Rivulet very much is a creature. We don't know very much about Rivulet, and I think that's part of my struggle in trying to decide what I want to do with them, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I do feel like Rivulet is very much a creature. And I also love that the lab coat kind of looks like the like moon's moon little I, dress. That was totally intentional. <laughs> totally, totally. I, I did that. On, I, I did that on purpose. If Moon is like their mom in this AU, maybe it's Definitely. like their own coat. Normally you would use protective gloves to like protect your hands from liquids and stuff. I think with Rivulet it's the other way around. <laughs> yes. The wettest hands. Yes. <laughs> wettest hands. Rivulet is a okay, sweaty bean. Those eyes are so good and so rivulet. But also, I really want to see them like deeply cry. Like <laughs> those go goofy big tears I see coming them out of cry. those goofy big eyes. I don't want to see them. Maybe they can cry out of happiness. But like, just the. I can just imagine like the big, big goofy tears. Fine, okay. Anyway, I love them so much. I I'd love to just talk with them about Homestuck. Uh, <laughs> about Homestuck. <laughs> I'd I'd be their mutual on Tumblr. I think. No, how's, okay, so how's about your monk? I had many directions that I could have gone with. To me, uh, monk is baby. In my eyes, they were like the youngest of all the slug cats. So I decided to go with like a preteen monk. At first, I was thinking like, should I make them like an actual monk with like a shaved head or like a novice monk? In the end, I had such a cute idea for the hair. So now they just have an orange shawl. My goal was to make them look kind because yeah. I think monk is a kind, kind creature. I, I love that for them and I'm sending them to you right now. Oh, the least, the beef, the lizard. Hold on. He's a little lizard. The banana pants. <laughs> the banana I just think they deserve banana pants. Like while I was drawing, I was like, should I just leave the pants as yellow? Monk deserves some silly patterns. What is silly? What is yellow? Bananas. Bananas. Oh, it's 
It's the, the, the lizard. It's so small. It's so small. It's a baby. The baby. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm just focusing on the lizard. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I mean, it is an important part. It the is a very important. I mean, it's small. also an important part of like Monk as a character too. And okay. like at first, I was thinking of maybe having Monk have like a magnifying glass and looking at the bugs. Mm -hmm. But then I realized that lizards can be small. If Monk is human, lizard can be small. Lizard can be can small. Can hold lizard in hand. Monk would pet the crocodile. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, they uh. would. Oh, I love how you have like speckled in the yellow to like multiple different parts of this, like the yeah. the beads in the hair. I don't know if those have like a name. I don't know either. I think they're just like beads. But just beads, yeah. I, and the nail yeah, polish too. I, I love them and also uh, sandals. I think I think monk deserves to run around in sandals. Yeah, yeah. And a monk doesn't have to do as much running around as the other skugs anyway. So yeah, I think Survivor uh, painted their nail. <gasps> because they ask. Yes! And now, now they're also yellow. I love that. Because they're like yellow. I love that. This one reminds me specifically of that one art, like the monk menu art for some reason. I think that one might also have like some orange like lighting there, so I think maybe that's why. I think monk to me is like the warmest character and that is why all the colors are very very warm. Yeah. I try to avoid like yeah, that having makes sense any cold to me. colors. Do, do, you, do you think monk would like the Minions movies? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Assigned yeah. shitty taste. I, I hate that movie. I don't like that movie. Understandable. Anyway, I think Monk should be allowed to be a Minions fan. Monk, Monk can be a Minions fan. That's fine. Hell yeah. Yellow, like them. Uh, anyways, yeah. Yes. So the last one is the Cyan Lizard. I think this one might be my favorite out of the ones that I did. So the vibes that I was sort of trying to combine, well, first of all, I, I was trying to like think, what does the cyan lizard design really remind me of? Well, the first thing that came to my mind was like disco. I just, I think, <laughs> I think a uh, cyan lizard would go to the disco. Disco, disco! Ma olen kieltäni lipova disco. Disco. <laughs> Says uh, the, the fucking cyan lizard. Uh, so that was my yes. first thing. So a lot of the outfit choices here, they're like very, very shiny, very much Whoa. like disco inspired. Obviously, like the most distinct feature of them is the fact that they leap really high and they're silly. Yeah. So I, I was like trying that. to think, could I have them like do some extreme sport that involves jumping? And then I couldn't like think of anything. I, I realized that I can just make shit up. So I, um, I had them wear like these rocket powered rollerblades oh my god <laughs> so now now they can leap that feels like it's like such a bad design choice honestly because if you move your legs even a little bit i feel like you would fall immediately it's it's just it feels like a disastrous combination and you know the in-game cyan lizards also are just really bad at staying alive so i think you know it works yeah my cyan That's lizard what, what is I'm not wearing a helmet <laughs> oh every time when i see them they will just, if they are not killing me, they will just jump in the air and fall. <laughs> yeah, they are wearing like those knee protection thingies, but they are not wearing a helmet. So if they die, they die. Um, <laughs> if they die, they die. I also wanted to kind of like, you know how sometimes they'll have like those circle patterns on them. I wanted to suggest those. So I gave them like these hoop earrings, among other things. And yeah, I actually think I'm just gonna send them in now. I can talk more once I send them. Oh my god! Holy fuck! They are the coolest person I've ever seen! Yeah, I, I like them a lot. Uh, I also gave them a ponytail to kind of like suggest a lizard tail, you know? They're so cool, what the hell! The hoop earrings and the eyeshadow and the teeth are so nice! Thank you. Also, another thing oh. I like redrew last minute because I was like, ah, they could be nicer. <laughs> they look so energetic and everything. Again, I'd love to hang out with them, but I think they'd be too cool for me. Yeah, I think they're running late for the disco and that's why they're uh, like rollerblading. <laughs> <laughs> or alternatively, alternatively, they are chasing the hunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for this one too, uh, I, because I can't really make a reference for this one and I, it was pain trying to find references online, so I just posted 3D models. And yeah. I think th for this one it was easier for some reason. I just keep looking at the face. Like, it's so cool. 
I love the like the high forehead or like the high hairline or like, gorgeous film. <laughs> I know that it would not feel nice to me to like wear like a whole shirt of sequins, but it looks damn cool on them. Yeah, uh, also like, I feel like in hindsight actually the, uh, giving them a helmet would have made sense because lizards have like those uh, armored heads, you know? Then they couldn't have like, the ponytail. The ponytail is more important than their life. Uh, by, by the way, kids, please wear helmets. This is not endorsement of uh, Hey kids, don't wear helmets power. Be like me. No! <laughs> We're setting a bad example. I say, knowing fully well of what's coming next. Uh, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Worries. I did not do as bad as I could have. Okay. <laughs> you drew the daddy long legs. I heard you struggled with this one a lot. Yeah, I struggled a lot, mainly because at one point I was like, should I just draw a body pillow? <laughs> but then I decided that that is not appropriate yes i can draw artificial with tits out but i cannot draw daddy long legs body pillow oh maybe you can't draw a rot body pillow but i certainly can it's beautiful i love that it's staring at me right now it but, doesn't um, have any eyes my daddy long legs does have eyes and actually like at one point i was thinking of should i go like a full eldritch like horror oh. human <laughs> thing but i in the end, I didn't quite go okay. with that idea, but I did leave some elements on it. I gave them the, like a tentacle earring that okay. I really like, because I wanted to keep some semblance of the tentacles in the design. Maybe this would not work for hair, but I also gave them like these long long locks oh. that like end with like the beads that kind of look like the uh, daddy long leg mass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and yeah. I will show him to you. And um, my point was like, I need to make him a bear. I need to make him big. I need to make him look like intimidating. This is the meanest daddy at a gay bar, I think. <laughs> Hold on, let me open this. <laughs> oh my god. I oh, the hair. <laughs> the hair. Oh, the, the mustache. Yeah, I have it too. <laughs> Oh, oh uh, uh, we got an, we got more eyeshadow. There we go. Yeah, Let's go. yeah. Right. Of course, he's gotta be glam. The hair he's is so glowing. Cool. I really love the hair. I'm really pleased with that idea. I I really like how it turned out. And also, yes, they are graying because uh, silver fox, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh but, my uh, goodness! All right, this doesn't have so much to do with like the design itself, but I like the contrast of the orange and blue that's going on here, you know? Thank you. I think it's nice looking. Uh, well, uh, blue and orange are my favorite colors, and I also know. I thought that like... You make that I know. very clear a lot of the time. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of like how to make him look like dangerous, because I remember the first time when I saw him in the game, I was fucking terrified. So I thought maybe he's like a big mob boss with like a big, <laughs> like a big cigarette. Yeah. Or like cigar. And I also kept thinking about uh, Hades Towns, Hades, as yeah. like a mood inspiration. I, I think that's pretty clear, maybe. And that's why Big Cigarette also... Um, <laughs> I feel like this drawing is telling way too much about how I like my <laughs> oh <man>. my god. <laughs> They, uh, I also I like I noticed just like on the K and there's also the the ball like the rod. the ball the ball oh the, the and, ball and boots boots made for yeah. walking over you yeah yeah <laughs> uh, you you cannot give me a character named Daddy Longlegs <laughs> and not expect me to, to draw a sugar daddy like he's definitely someone's sugar daddy <laughs> Sign uh, Wizard X but... Daddy Longlegs ship. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I might drop. No! I think Daddy Longlegs is my favorite design of the bunch. Understandable. I'm just really happy with it. Very understandable. It's I very personally, cool. I think I'm biased, probably, but I like the artificer the best out of your designs. I mean, I I did make her like very much of like I I want I want the North. To like. ah! <laughs> You know me too well, this is fair. Then the last one is Kuti service, then, I suppose. Yes, yeah. yes, we have a North service and we have a Kuti service. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I, I need to say something. I, I'm gonna say yes. it. 
none of our designs are like none of these characters are straight. There's no fucking way. No. This is the gayest fucking lineup I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah. I also, I, I really like how we have such a, like, diverse set of designs here. Yeah! They all look very different from one another. Yeah, and there are so many body types and so many different faces and so many different teeth. I'm gonna get ca get called, like, a war artist again. Every no! Time. no! Every time I draw a mouse, it happens. No! Yeah. They're not the only body part I like drawing well. <laughs> there are others. Like hands. Subscribe to North, subscribe to me, uh, <laughs> please commission me, I'd, I'd like some money. <laughs> Give Kurt some money. Yeah, and I mean, if people want us to do more of these, I'd love to, because yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we still have a lot of characters. We didn't do a single awesome iterator content. this time. Yeah, I think we need to do at least like one iterator. Yeah, edition. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sequel, question mark, perhaps, mayhaps. Subscribe for more uh, gay people. <laughs> 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 <laughs>